So you guys ready to do it? We're gonna do this uh, this wonderful cheesy savory cheesy cheesy savory. What do we call this bread? <laughs> it's called cheesy bread. So go over to the oven, 350 right now, okay? And then here's all you need. You got scallions or what uh, they're also known as is green onions, half a cup of butter, poppy seeds and a pound of your favorite cheese sliced. I did pepper jack, cause the name Jack, get it? Okay, anyway, and a beautiful uncut sourdough. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, first thing you do is you're gonna prep everything. I always tell you, prep all your ingredients, lay them all out, and then we'll throw it all together. So first we're gonna do the uh, finely cut scallions. Would also, they're, they almost look like chives when you do it this way. Okay, so there you go. It's all chopped up. Now we're gonna take our butter, put that in there. Then a little bit of poppy seed in there. I'm gonna melt this down for about a minute or two until it's all liquid. So get yourself a bread knife. We're gonna cut across like this, but don't cut all the way down. Just cut about three quarters of the way and then do another cut, another cut, another cut. Okay, and then you're gonna cut it this way. Same thing, don't cut all the way in, okay? Just about three quarters of the way. These cuts might be a little wider than the rest. Look at that, so it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have all the sections cut. Just take your cheese, fold it, and just put it right inside. You're gonna put it in every crack. Slice the cheese in every section. Okay, now once you have the whole thing stuffed with cheese in every crack and crevice, you're going to go get a cookie sheet and put aluminum foil on it. Bring a big sheet of aluminum foil in there and place it right in the center. There you go. Now before you drizzle this on top, you're gonna to mix the seeds around so it gets dispersed. So mix that around first, then drizzle. Pop it off with this, however much you like. So you're gonna wrap this tight in the foil. Get this all nice and wrapped. There, it's completely sealed. Now you're gonna put this in the oven on this cookie sheet at 350 for 15 minutes and then bring it back here. Okay. There you go, 15 minutes. Now this is the tricky part. You're gonna wanna use gloves for this, okay? You're gonna need to carefully remove the foil. Oh, it's looking good already. Remove the foil. And I'm just gonna do this for right now. You just leave it open like that. Now you're gonna put this back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Look how good that looks. That looks awesome already. Can you see that? All right, let's get it back in there. Wow, look how good that looks. All the cheese is clumped up and melted all over the bread. The onions are popping, the poppy seeds are popping. That is so cool. Okay, look at that. Isn't that beautiful, huh? Look at these cheeses oozing all over the sides. I love it. Look at that. That beautiful. Just awesome. You can just put that on the plate, just let people eat it, just like that. Okay, as you guys know, I don't eat a lot of bread, so I'm only gonna take one bite of this and then I'm giving it away. Um, you guys want me to mail this to you? No, just kidding. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a taste. Before I try this, do me a favor. I know you know how to improve this recipe. I know you wouldn't use pepper jack. I know you wouldn't put scallions on top or maybe poppy seeds. I want you to tell me down in the description, what are the items you would put in this bread? Okay? I'm dying to see new variations. You guys are incredible. All right. Well, if I'm only getting one bite, 
No, I'm just kidding. I'm not shoving it all in my face. Promise. But I am going to. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. I could totally eat this in front of the game. Not give it another thought. There it is. Football Finger Food 4. I got product reviews coming up. More cooking tips. It's all awesome. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Oh, so good.